It's Sunday, everybody's eating dry cereal because I forgot to put milk on the grocery list. We had groceries delivered yesterday and milk wasn't on it, so that's my fault. But I'm about to make my iced coffee and I got the Chobani cookies and cream creamer. And I'm very excited to try it, I'll show it to you. This is the Chobani coffee creamer cookies and cream. I haven't tried it yet, I'm really excited. And then I'm doing a stock coffee because I'm kind of sick of the Starbucks one. So we're gonna do this one, me as a wife. Oh Nick, I totally forgot to tell you, I got scolded at the nail salon for drinking coffee. What? Because I'm pregnant. Oh really? And they were like, uh, in Vietnam you can't have coffee while you're pregnant. And I said, oh no, this is okay, this is my fourth baby. I have drank coffee. Well, this is okay, it's America. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is my fourth baby. I, my doctor said it's okay if I drink 200 milligrams a day. And he was like, it was a guy too. And he was like, he was like, oh, okay, good, good. I just want to make sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Still, you only ate the marshmallows. It's so good, but it's so sweet. I did not need that much. Okay, I've got the um, French toast cooking in the oven, and now I'm coming over here to move over some laundry. Let's see. I always have to do like an extra spin on the dryer because the steam cycle and sensory dry always leaves it damp, and then I have to switch over to the manual dry side. Yeah, these are damp to get to get it like finished up. Maybe if I unwrap this, it'll help. And then sometimes pulling out the stuff that's already dry gives it some more room for drying the damp stuff. But we're slowly getting, we're slowly getting to um, all the dirty clothes that we had from like the two weeks that we were here with no washer and dryer. It's a really good feeling having clean stuff and not having piles of laundry everywhere. Yes, it is. Hey, hey, I get a hey, lot hey, of hey. questions that say, uh, is it normal in America to have a fridge in the, in the laundry room? We need, is it? Why would it? Um, we need a bottle can opener. We have here, no Like on the wall. And then a beer crusher right next to it. Because my ring is starting to get a little bad. Nick, do not use your ring. Well, I don't have to get an opener. Okay, this one's actually pretty cool. The Cooter Brown personalized whiskey barrel bottle opener with detachable leather cap catch pouch. Reese, what? Oh, Skyla, can you give um, Reese some of that? She wants some of that juice. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. The girls are taking turns doing tractor rides with Nick. Look at all my packages that I haven't brought in. Okay, I actually found a crusher, a hardwood can crusher that I think Nick would like and that would look good in our house from Etsy. So I ordered that too. And now I'm looking to see about um, a car detail. That can come to me. He said that he could do my car today, maybe. So you if take it? no, he it's mobile. So if that. Wow, that's what I like to see. 
No, put it in the dishwasher. Why? Just wash it. No, put it in the dishwasher. It's a waste. No, it's not a waste. And you definitely don't use that. You just said it's a waste and then used. Okay, then put it right back into the uh, into where it goes in the cabinet. That's wow. He's only doing this because I'm filming everyone. He's never done this, this is, in his life. This is every day. No, I don't think it is. someone who's gonna come out here um, and do my detailing today I was like I just need it before Friday and he was like oh no I can come today so I'm pumped about that and Nick is out here he's spraying off the um, the chalk yeah and take these off what's daddy doing okay can you uh, power wash this off too? Or just spray it off before I bring it in? Or we'll get the nozzle. Ah. That water feels so good. Get doing, Zoe. You having a good day, Lucky? Yeah, it's a good day. Nick said he ran over the sprayer nozzle. Well, where's the other one? Um. The nozzle is just gone, but I actually just ordered a second one. <laughs> Y'all are like, how much do you order a day? Um, I actually just ordered a second one. I'll show you what it looks like. And so I'm just gonna order two more. It's only $5.99, so I'm just gonna order two more. But these are the best. And I really like the hoses that like retract. They're like stretchy. They're the best. They retract and so they're small when you're not using it, and then when they fill with water, they expand. Kind of like a water. Swipe. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something really quick that I think is really important, and I think that everybody that follows me and watches this video can benefit from. So my cousin has a company called Tree by the Sea Life Insurance. Sorry, it's called Tree by the Sea Insurance. So it's called a return of premium term life insurance. So it's basically a savings account with a death benefit. So let me explain to you how it works. Okay, I had to pause to get the girls um, a drink. So basically at the end of the term, you get back every penny that you paid and it's usually about a 30 year term because that's the cheapest option. So speaking of the cheapest one, it's $25 a month for 30 years and that gives you 50,000 coverage if you pass away for your family to use on anything that they're going to need to cover the expenses that come along with a loss in the family. So as long as I don't croak, I'll get the $9,000 back at the end of the term. So it's, in a way, it's a savings account that you are putting this money towards if something bad happens, you're gonna get it back and you're gonna get 50,000. And if nothing bad happens, then you get all the money that you put into it back. So it's, it's really awesome and it kind of forces you to save. So the one that my cousin does is $250,000 worth of coverage and that's $150 a month. So when he's done with his term, he will get 54,000 back. Like I said earlier, life insurance is crucial at this stage of life and most of y'all are around the same age as me, but I hate throwing money away. The only death in the family that I've experienced in my immediate family, thank God, um, has been the death of my father and you guys know that. He had no coverage. My mom had a like accidental death policy on him because as a rancher, like accidental deaths are very, very common um, with what he did. His job was very dangerous. So my mom had a policy on that, but since it wasn't an accidental death, they don't pay out a penny. So all the money, money that my mom put towards it, she lost all of it. So with this policy, it's not like that. It's like guaranteed you're gonna get it back. Also, the really cool thing about it is right after you are approved, it's like effective. So if you bought the policy, Today, it takes about 30 minutes over the phone to set up the policy. You don't have to go in anywhere. There's not a lot of paperwork. It's literally all over the phone. It was super easy to set up when I did it. So basically, when you get the email back that like you're approved and good to go, this is morbid, but if you pass right after you're approved, you will get 
your family will get the full amount that you're covered for. So let's say that you end up buying a massive one. Say you're like covered for half a million or you're covered for a million and you've only paid your one month of payments and you pass away the next day, your family literally gets the full amount. <laughs> it's awesome. Tree by the Sea Insurance is a brokerage, which means that they shop all of the companies for you to get you the best deal. I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video where you guys can go to read more about it, check it out, get your own policy set up. Um, my cousin, Jonathan, like I said, he owns this company and he is technically sponsoring this video, um, which is so weird to say. Um, but thank you, Jonathan and Tree by the Sea Insurance for sponsoring this video. And to all of my followers, um, I would really appreciate it if you would just go check it out because it's a win-win situation. That was so fast. This guy is already here doing our cars. I can't believe you're eating so much. I'm proud of you. We just warmed up our leftovers from dinner last night. We went and had dinner at Joshua Creek. And um, we've been thinking about getting a membership there, but um, we ate so we had like massive meals last night. And so, so we brought the leftovers home. Nick ate the leftover pork chops. For a family. He loved them. He also ate my pork chops for breakfast. Reese is having this too, but she, the girls have all been outside swimming, so she's a little jaybird right now. I just got Reese down for a nap, and I'm going to pick up the playroom now. to put the rug back on before the kids start again but it's up there with all the clean laundry um i just picked up the playroom oh no that means my filter is messed up oh it's like caked up oh, it's like caked up okay i have to like scrape it off because in here <sighs> probably from the moisture i am gonna have to scrape it all out because it's blocked Ooh, right there so I actually couldn't get it, but I have a bigger Dyson. So we'll have to work on that one later, but I just want to get this mopped up so I can get the rug down really quick. I'm about to have to leave, but my girl's room. You guys probably remember I got it spotless and this is what has happened since then. I don't know how long it's been since that video, but just take a gander. So you might notice that Skyla's bed has caved in on the corner. The girls jump on the bed and continue to break that little... I guess it's just one of the slats underneath and Nick has repaired it twice now and they keep breaking it over and over. So I don't know if these beds just aren't very sturdy or what, but they have punctured it for a second time now. And that is sunscreen. So I'm gonna be changing out the sheets. That's like the, um, what is that? That glitter sunscreen they were putting it on and got it on over the sheets. You know, the amount of times I have to change these sheets like, is, is, it's tragic actually. So this is my next thing, but there's no way I'm going to be done with this by the time, um, I'm going to have to leave to get my mom, but we're going to start anyway. Okay. He just finished the detail and I'm honestly in shock. He did such a good job. It looks so incredible. I didn't get it before just because it was honestly like so embarrassing, but just trust me, this is the best it's looked in months. So... I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna put the girls' car seats in and we're gonna go get Yaya. All right, I just got home with Yaya. She's putting her stuff up in her room upstairs and we're having Whataburger for dinner. Okay, I'm moving more laundry over. Hi, Dutchie. Dutchie, do you want some sausage? Dutchie, do you want some sausages? No. I 
need you to take these pillows up there. They go on Yaya's couch. Okay. Careful in those socks. Those socks are really slippery on those stairs, okay? I love them. We've never had them before, but Alyssa Riley actually recommended these, so I like them. So. Ta-da! Here they all are. Don't think that's enough. Should I get one more of those big square ones to go in the middle? Okay, so Skyla's cheer top is coming undone, so I'm gonna try to glue it down with this E6000 fabric fuse, and hopefully it works. Finally sitting down on the couch to turn on a movie. Hopefully there's something good on. Um, Nick is rocking Ruth. We did a bath time and the whole nine. We had a little bit of pool time outside for a while. Adeline caught a frog. It's been an experience. Oh, and we finished putting up all the child locks everywhere. So that's really good though because it's always hard when you move into a new house. There's no child blocks and they can get into to everything that you just put away. So that was really nice getting that done today. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.